Hello, uh, uh, my name is Chi Hun Kang. Uh, I'm a technician uh, of Midas IT. Uh, today, we will talk about uh, geometry modeling techniques. Uh, previously, on 30th April, we had a, a first lesson regarding on GUI techniques for beginners. We uh, introduced uh, to attendees about a basic uh, interface of Midas IT. Today, we will draw some structure um, using uh, um, various functions uh, to create nodes and elements, and you get to know how to draw the structure using Meta Civil. Um, uh, before I begin, uh, if you see the dialogue when you join the webinar, you can uh, find um, the question board. So, at any time, if you have any question, you can uh, type in um, in the dialogue. And then at the end of this webinar, I'll answer all the questions. I'll try the best. OK. So today, we will talk about um, how to uh, draw the geometry using Maida Civil. Uh, there are a, a bunch of functions to draw a node and element. Uh, firstly, we can import CAD file using DXF file format. And then we have very basic functions on the node and element menu in Maida Civil. And we also have automatic functions for plate elements. Um, some engineers want, want to uh, draw the slab using plate elements, um, which is called a shell element normally. And we have automatic wizard functions. And also, uh, some people uh, like to model the bridges using a table format or MCT command shell using text format. So I'll try to um, cover all the functions for today. And we have um, this tutorial file. All the slides, um, I will upload it to our website. Uh, it might take. Um, a week, roughly, because we will edit the recordings and then um, we will post a blog um, format, uh, including this slide. You can go to our website here, which is called Maida Civil Academy. Um, here we have a bunch of uh, webinars, previous webinars. Uh, you can click uh, any. Um, previous webinar, then you can check what we covered, and uh, you can download the slide, and then you can watch the recordings as well. This webinar as well will be uploaded to uh, this website. OK. So I'll start from importing CAD file. Let me open my CV. Here's my CV. OK, so as we uh, learned from the previous uh, webinar, we have main menus here, and then we have work tree to check all the items which are applied to this modifier, and then we have message window here. OK, um, let me uh, input CAD file. On the pile menu, we have import um, menu here we can find AutoCAD DXF file. So if you um, go to this menu, then you could find an uh, import DXF file um, window. So we can browse DXF file. This is example um, CAD file. So the drawing a file um, may contain uh, lots of layers. We can select uh, desired layer to draw the structure into my as we as this file contains only one layer, I can uh, select only one layer, which is uh, zero here. And then before we apply, um, notice that you can read out this message says, uh, when importing AutoCAD DXF file, the length unit must be identical with the unit used in AutoCAD. 
what does it mean by that? Uh, let's say we select meter and click apply. Uh, we imported the drawings uh, automatic, uh, successfully, but if you go to query menu and query node, you can actually measure the distance between the node. For example, I measure here, uh, it says uh, the distance between uh, these two nodes. So it says as the unit is meter, the length is 32 around 32,000 meter, which is uh, not make sense. So we need to input the drawing using, um, after setting the unit as millimeters. So let me try again. And I'll measure again. I'll click the first node and second node and it shows distance uh, from distance between the two nodes. So it is, uh, showing same value, but as we set up the unit as millimeters, this is 32,000 millimeters. So you, you should be careful when you import a uh, CAD file about the unit. And also, as we have undo button here, you can always um, undo every action and try again. So if you make mistake, you can go back to uh, before the action and then you can execute anything again okay so here you we can see um, we imported 109 beam element and 1630 applied element and it doesn't have any material and section thickness information because i didn't define any um, properties so uh, let me try again after inputting uh, some example properties. Um, let me go to a material properties and I'll simply uh, select the material among the database. I'll select, I'll define two materials and let me uh, define uh, to the section as well, um, having a different shape. I'll set up uh, 1,000 millimeters uh, for height and width for this rectangle shape. And I'll try importing the CAD file again. So I'll browse uh, the XF file again and I'll select the layers. Then, um, yeah, I forgot to define thickness. I'll define one thickness as well. Let's say 200 mils. Then for the uh, lines or the uh, rectangle shaped uh, polylines, and we can assign material properties and section properties and thickness. Uh, Let's try. So here, all the elements have um, number one material, and all the beam elements has number one section property, and all the plate elements have number one thickness. So you can uh, try uh, input assigning a different section as well, like this. Now it has, now all the elements has a second material and the second section. We can change it again. Um, we can double click, um, let's say um, material number two from the walkthrough menu. And if you drag and drop a number one material to the model view, then number one material can be assigned. You can, uh, select the element partially and then drag and drop and select this element will have different material as you can see here. And um, here's some additional information. You can follow the, all the steps uh, after this webinar using this slide. As I mentioned, we will upload the slide to our website. 
So you can download it and you can watch the recordings as well. Uh, here, uh, notice that these are a kind of possible um, type of line and line line and face from AutoCAD, which are possible to import to Mira Civil. So line type will be imported as beam element in Mira Civil, and pole line type in CAD will be a plate element in Mira Civil, and face type as well will be plate element. When you um, import a curved line. It should be divided into uh, multiple points. Otherwise, it will show um, uh, the straight uh, beam element in my recipe. So it is, if it is um, divided by uh, multiple points, then it will be a uh, curved beam element. OK? You can make a screenshot, or you can download the slide uh, afterwards. We will uh, send you the following. Um, email, um, including uh, the link of the web page as well. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about the um, slide. OK, I'll back to Meta Civil. And then I'll delete everything. I'll start over using um, Node and Element menu. To delete everything, I'll double click the node and press Delete key, OK? So um, the importing CAD file was the first method to draw the geometry, to, to, draw, uh, to create node and element. The second is um, using node element menu. Here we have a bunch of uh, function. I'll try to cover uh, lots of functions today. So I'll start over from a create node function. So I'll so here we can uh, type a um, coordinate of the first node. For example, um, if I put uh, the original coordinate here and click apply, then there will be only one, only one node here. On the work stream menu here, you can see there is one node. Uh, but I'll undo, undo it. Uh, and if I use a copy, option let's say i'll copy the nodes um, i'll i'll create the node at the at the original point and they copy that uh, five times along uh, x-axis having a uh, one meter distance then it will create three uh sorry uh, six nodes including the original point okay so as I mentioned, if you go to query menu and use query nodes, the shortcut key is F4 key on, on the keyboard. We can measure uh, the distance. So the distance between the node number one to six uh, is 5,000 millimeters. As we copied um, five times uh, having a uh, one meter distance. I'll change the unit to uh, meter to be more clear. And then after creating the, uh, the node, we can copy the node as well. Uh, I'll select everything and go to um, on the node group. Uh, I'll go to translate um, menu and then uh, let's say I want to copy the nodes along the y-axis. Um, y-axis in this in this way. Sorry. In this way. Okay. Uh, I will copy all the nodes five times along y-axis, um, having one meter distance each. Then you copy the nodes. As we have uh, nodes here, then we can create an uh, element. If, if we go to create element, we can select the type of the element. It can be truss, or it can be tension only, or cable element. It can be compression only, or gap element. We can also make a plate element. I'll zoom it uh, for you. Plate element and the plane stress, plane strain 
and also solid elements are possible to create it, to be created. So I'll simply show you how to create a PIM element. You can select the material and section. If you select the number one section and click on uh, the nodes, then you assign the first section and first material to the element. If we select the second um, section and create the element, it will have a second section. Also, we have uh, here we have intersect option. So it if if it is ticked, then you intersect element. You will divide the element um, by the node. Uh, I'll try uh, creating element without this option. Then with the first section, then you create you will not intersect element. But what the difference is is um, so you can um, display the element number. Uh, for the first line, we have one, two, three, four, five element here. For the without intersect option, we have only one element. That's the difference. Okay. So uh, after, let's say after creating the element, you want to intersect uh, this element by these nodes, then we can go to here, um, intersect element menu, and then create the element and click apply. Sorry, let me try again. Should be working. Um. Sorry, I'll, I'm not sure what is wrong with this function. Uh, let me try again. Um, let me merge this element. Now it is one element uh, without removing the node. And now it shows only one element. I will intersect this element again. Um, I'm not sure why it doesn't uh, work, but anyway, um, otherwise, oh, it, if it doesn't work, we can use also divide um, menu. That doesn't really matter. We have um, various function for different uh, purpose. Uh, so we can divide the element into one, two, three, four, five, uh, five elements uh, like this. So it is uh, same for the intersect and divide element. Uh, those work same. 